Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week 8 of Season 1 2021 and the IMSA Sports Car Championship with me driving the BMW M8 GTE. This week's circuit is Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache or Interlagos, otherwise known as the Brazilian Grand Prix. And the time is set to the 6th of February 2021 at 12 o'clock in the afternoon to match the official race time sent out on the Season 1 PDF. Same format as before, a breakdown lap, followed by a full speed, uninterrupted lap with telemetry, followed by an off-board lap. And as usual, this is filmed before the week has begun, so it's difficult to compare lap times. But let's see if we can help you guys find some time. So here we go then, on board, ready for the left-hander of turn one. We're looking out for the 100-meter board, and just as we pass it, hard on the brakes from sixth down into second gear. You can see breaking in a straight line. We're going to start turning in now. It's quite a hard turn in as you want to get that car locked up to this apex all the way over the curb bounce over it as you put the throttle back down you're then going to have a quick lift off as you turn into this apex again mounting that second curb and then just as we pass that curb we're full throttle all the way through this left hander hugging this left hander as we climb up through the gears and then use all the track on the exit right out to the exit curb stick to the right hand side now on this straight next braking zone is another easy one to spot the 100 meter board just before this one ideally from sixth down into third gear again hard braking in a straight line turn in try and mount the curb and then get back on that power as soon as you can being careful not to extend too much as you hug this second left hander uh, the second apex through that left now we want to look out for the shed on the left hand side there it is we're going to break lightly through here from fifth down into third gear and you can see initially we aim for this first apex as we get to third and then we get back on the throttle gently and smoothly as we come out to the middle of the circuit and then get back towards that second apex once again as we're now full throttle coming right out to the left hand side of the track you just have to feel the braking zone here from third down to first gear almost straight away as soon as you get to that curb and then absolutely mount this inside right hander curb before you get back on the throttle we're then going to dab the brakes again, keeping it in first all the way through here, hugging the left-hand side curb as the track pulls us in. And then before we reach the midpoint of the corner, we should be back on the throttle pretty much fully by the end of the second gear. The next braking zone, look for the end of the curb on the right-hand side. As soon as you pass that, we're going to go from third down to first once again. But look how we went to the left-hand side of the track to open up this corner and get the smoothest line we can as we come down this hill. Feather the throttle down this hill, you don't want to lose the back end, it's not quite flat on heavy fuel. And then the final braking zone is just as this curb ends, once again from fourth down into second gear. Brake right off the circuit to open up this final corner and get the best possible exit you can to climb up the hill as you climb up through those gears for this long straight. One of the main overtaking opportunities on this circuit, up this hill, slipstreaming all the way down to the run down to turn one. You want to hug this pit wall as you come up to this bit, be careful of pitting in though because people can have accidents there and across the line now full speed uninterrupted looking for the 100 meter board just past it from sixth down to second gear hard braking full lock left pretty much as you try and mount this left curve back on the throttle quick lift to hit the second apex and now with full throttle all the way through this left hander climbing up through the gears come right out to the right hand side to the exit curb and now we can have a quick breather as we climb up through the gears looking for the 100 meter board again on the right hand side this time from sixth down to third gear once again hard on that turn in to get that apex and then get that throttle down and use all the track on the exit hug the left hand side curve back over to the right and now we want to stick to the left looking for that shed for our next braking zone easy on the brakes through here from fifth to third hit the first apex come out to the middle of the track hit the second apex now as we approach full throttle right to the outside curve back on the brakes third down to first absolutely mount the inside right hand side curve back on that throttle keeping it in first gear hug the left hand side curve let the track take you through full throttle by the time you reach second as soon as the curb ends on the right hand side from third down to first again breaking right out to the left hand side of the track to open up this right hander we should be back on the throttle now feathering through this left hander to keep that back end in check Climbing up through the gears, gets over to the right-hand side, curb ends, fourth down to second, off the track braking, open up this corner as much as you can, and now we're full throttle all the way up the hill as we climb through those gears. So you can see how you want to take the path of least resistance up this hill, so you can hug this left-hand side curve, come out to around the middle, and then you want to get back over to the left-hand side wall, crossing the pit line, and then back over to the right-hand side, ready for turn one once again. And that is a lap of Interlagos, or Autodromo, Jose Carlos Pache, or the Brazilian Grand Prix, whichever one you want to call it. That is pretty much it from me. As usual, I'm going to leave you with this off-board lap. Don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let me know how your races have been going in the comments down below. And if I don't see you on track this week, then I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace.